It's a beautiful sunny morning, and Basil is woken by the postman. Morning, Basil. <laughs> Cup of tea? <laughs> Good grief. How did you get in? And I've brought you a letter. Sorry it's got a bit of egg on it. Oh. Well, I've heard about special delivery viewers. But this takes the biscuit. <laughs> I see. It looks very important, doesn't it? Morning. <laughs> Who is that? The postman. Why is he still here? Don't ask me. We still haven't got rid of the gas man you let in last week. <laughs> anyway, the letter. Oh, uh, Mr. Stephen, would you mind? Yeah, sure. Mm. What? What is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. Uh, dear Bezel Brash. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, has anyone got any deodorant? Get out of it. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Sad news. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, dear. What is it, Basil? Well, my great uncle, Sir Melvin Brush, the 90th Earl of Brush, no less. <laughs> what about him? Well, I'm sad to say he's uh, kicked it. Passed on, shuffled up, <laughs> gone to the great fox hole in the sky. Oh. He's dead! Oh, Basil, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, don't worry. I didn't really know the chap. Anyway, it was his own fault. He was so aristocratic, he insisted on having a fox hunt every year. It was a tragic accident waiting to happen. <laughs> Has he left you anything in the will? Yeah, it doesn't say. <laughs> Hang on. Where's my family tree? <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> Do you mean this? Ah, that's the fella. A record of all the brushes throughout history, dating right back to old Sir Lancelot the Brush of the 12th century. <laughs> that's him. Uh... <laughs> Great Scott! Sir Melvin's death makes me... Bezel, 91st Earl of Brush. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Look, look, look. <laughs> Have you quite finished? You know what? If you're an earl, then that means our flat is a castle, or a palace, or a stately home. Our flat, stately? Yeah, you know. Open to the public, guided tours, coach parties, the whole thing! <laughs> You've got to be joking. I never joke when there could be money involved. I just need to make one quick phone call. I see. Do you think young Dave is planning some convoluted money-making scheme involving me becoming a member of the aristocracy? <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> so, are you going to become all snooty now that you're a noble fox? Me? I'm not one to get all her in my tea. You just watch. <laughs> I won't change a bit. <laughs> Now, unpleasant peasant, <laughs> peel me a grape. Uh... Before or after I punch you on the nose? <laughs> What's that? It's the doorbell. I had it changed. I thought Bing Bong just wasn't aristocratic enough. I'm so excited. That's lovely. A find like this doesn't come along every day, you know. No, I'm sure it doesn't. Do you want to tell me what you're talking about? A real-life stately home right in the centre of town. Sorry, I'm Oliver from the Stately Home Trust. David called me. I'll handle this. Oliver. Dave. <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is Basil, the 91st Earl of Brush. Your Lordship. I like him. He's proper. Well, I must say, Your Lordship, I can't wait to go to your stately home. A new one in town will be such a draw for the tourists. I can't wait to see it. Um, this is the stately home. This horrid little flat. Horrid? I'll give you horrid meat. So, Oliver, 
Do you think tourists will pay for guided tours of our stately home? Hmm, let me think. No. But there's so much to see. Look at all the old things. Ah! Like this apple. It's been in the fruit bowl for ages. What about his jokes? Most of them are positively antique. Oi, more cheek from you and I'll have you chucked in the tub. Mm, the problem is, you see, it's just an ordinary modern flat. So, tourists would only be interested if there were some special features. Oh, well, there's an interesting patch of damp in the corner there. <laughs> what sort of special features? Well, like a ghost, for instance. Haunted houses are always very popular. A oh, ghost? Well, of course there's a ghost. Really? Really? Yeah, it's the ghost of <laughs> Sir Lancelot de Brush, the first Earl of Brush. Isn't that right, Basil? Uh, 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 oh, yes, yes, that's right. Uh, his spectre stalks the halls, moaning, <laughs> moaning, moaning, moaning. He's never satisfied. That <laughs> yeah, that's marvellous. I'll be back at seven o'clock with the first coachload of tourists. And we'll discuss money then, shall we, Oliver? Oh, you can make a fortune, as long as you can guarantee a visit from the ghost. <laughs> I think we can guarantee this coffee, Master Dave. No way. <laughs> there is no way I'm letting coach loads of tourists traipse all over this flat. I never get any pieces it is. Dave's noisy. Basil's noisy. The flat upstairs sounds like a building site. <laughs> Always shouting. <laughs> I'd have words. <laughs> but Basil, can't you see that this is all going to end up in some convoluted and, frankly, unbelievable disaster? You've read the script, then. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, chaps. We've got work to do. <laughs> Stephen, your mother would be ever so proud. <laughs> Three years at drama school for this year. <laughs> cool. Have you got your tree? <laughs> yes. Right. What have we got, chaps? Master Dave, you take me through it. Well, we've got pencils. Very nice. And they all say I was spooked at Brush Manor. Catchy. I like it. I'm sorry, but that pencil doesn't have a point. I could say the same about you. <laughs> Sharpen them, they can buy a. I was spooked at Brush Manor. Pencil sharpener. See, Mr. Stephen, Master Dave thinks of everything. <laughs> what else? I couldn't think of anything. Oh, I have to live with this. <laughs> Positions, everyone! That'll be Mr. Oliver with the suckers. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, guests. <laughs> Here we are, then. <laughs> Good luck, Lordship. Thank you very much, Lee. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, you're always hanging around my gaff. I thought I'd hang around your place. <laughs> when do we get to see the ghost? Step this way, step this way. Squeeze in at the back there. No need to push. There's plenty of room. <laughs> Even for the fat American. Hey! English humour, mate. You wouldn't understand. Oh, OK. Harvey, he's so cute. <laughs> Sir, your wife has impeccable taste. What she's doing with you, I've no idea. <laughs> right, are we all in? Right, lock the doors. Ladies and jelly beans, welcome <laughs> to Brush Manor. To breakfast, was it? <laughs> How's it going? Basil's stringing them along. Good. Now, if we move into the portrait gallery, here. 
You can see portraits of some famous British noblemen. That's Lord Suffolk there. This is Baron Percy. And that's Duke Richard. Who's that? That's Earl Grey. <laughs> I was the paint that they could at least chuckle. <laughs> Just going to check the smoke machines in position. What was that, Molly? I can't hear you. It's this sheet. Of course, it's incredible, isn't it? How stupid are those tourists believing they're gonna see a ghost? Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Woo. Who <laughs> believes in ghosts? Ooh. Good sound effect. I suppose that's what a ghost would sound like, if they existed. <laughs> oh, it's a bit cold in here, don't you think? <laughs> now, what were you saying? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, is this really a 19th century authentic Elizabethan teapot? You betcha! King Arthur himself used to have a cuppa out of that on his way to the joss. Oh, I just got to have one of these. OK, darling. Uh, your earlship, uh, how much for this here kettle? Uh, well, it's a family heirloom, sentimental value and all that. Mm -hmm. How does 200 quid grab you? Very reasonable. Good. Then let's say 300, shall we? Uh, now. Who wanted Henry VIII's personal toaster? Oh, <laughs> Russell, what are you doing? Ah, gentles and lady men, here we have a traditional feature of English life, the village idiot. <laughs> oh, don't go too close, madam. The smell of soup frightens him. Russell, you can't sell all my stuff. I know. I had to give the fondue set away. <laughs> Get back over in the corner till it's time for the gift shop. Hello, that's my blender! <laughs> no, it's not! It's a 13th century siege weapon as used by William the Conqueror! <laughs> when are we going to do the ghost bit? The spooky fog's ready! Oh, good point, yes. Uh, go on, in position. <laughs> <laughs> now, my lords, ladies and Americans, <laughs> we come to the part of the tour that some of you may find disturbing. Uh, no, it's not the cost of the admission. <laughs> I speak, my foreign friends, about the haunting of Brush Manor. No. <laughs> oh, blimey. I think I'm suffering from passive special effects. <laughs> <laughs> Are there many ghosts? Oh, yes. This house is full of spirits. <laughs> Gin, vodka, brandy. <laughs> it's Mr. Stephen. He drinks to forget. Forget what? See? It works. <laughs> but any actual ghosts? Well, inanimate objects are moved around the room. That's the poltergeist. Ooh. <laughs> then there's the ghost that sits up all night playing cards. That's the pokergeist. Huh? <gasps> And, of course, there's the sound of supernatural quacking. That's the poltergeese. <laughs> poltergeese! <laughs> boom, boom, get it, poltergeese! Oh, come on. You'd pay a fortune for this on the stage. Please, you are wasting our time. When are we the ghost to be seen? Why don't you put a sausage in it? Eh? <laughs> we have to wait until the ghost feels it's the right time to appear. Which had better be blooming soon. Molly! Where's Dave? <laughs> OK. I don't believe in ghosts. It's just a trick of the light. Or something I ate. Or both. So, when I take my hands away, there won't be anything there. It is a small running boy. Did I mention the paintings? Yes! yes. Oh, blast. Uh, well, if you'd like to come through to the uh, library. We haven't got a library. Well, what's that room with all the books in? That's the toilet. <laughs> this is most unsatisfactory. I insist on seeing the ghost. 
Oh, don't be such a Sir Crouch. <laughs> you lot head up to the library. <laughs> I'll see if I can't rustle up an appearance from Sir Lancelot. You might want to put the seat down. <laughs> give you more room. <laughs> ah, just wait till I lay my hands on Dave. Honestly, if you want something doing, do it yourself. <laughs> I think we're out of smoke. I wouldn't worry, Mole. Dave's run off, and now Basil's gone to get dressed up as a ghost. I told him this wouldn't work. Oh, <laughs> oh Basil, that was quick. Well, Basil, you look incredible. Are you wearing makeup? <laughs> Not a very convincing ghost noise, though. Yeah, you can have to work a bit harder than that to convince anyone you're a ghost. <laughs> How's this for an idea, then? Hey, cover myself in flour and go... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Basil, do you mind? I'm trying to talk to Basil. <laughs> but... <laughs> but if you're Basil... Yes? Then who's the... <laughs> Ghost? Where are you two going? Oh, dear me, you can't get the stuff. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you one of the tourists? <laughs> Got lost, have you? <laughs> I see. That's a very fetching outfit. Off to a fancy dress party, are we? <laughs> oh, watch out. The UN Comedy Council's back. Sorry, it's smelt in there. It's your honey at all smells. <laughs> My God! The spook! <laughs> oh, dear me. They seem to be under the misapprehension that you're a ghost of some sort. <laughs> what with your old-fashioned clothes and deathly pillow, <laughs> and the way that you're, uh, yeah, you know, floating. <laughs> Good grief! <laughs> And so I said to Richard III, I was only asking, mate, there's no need to get the hump. Ah, ha, 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 ye boo! Ye <laughs> Come along, folks. Next stop, the site of a famous royal battle. Apparently, there was a punch up outside the King's Head last night. <laughs> Harvey, why can't we have a ghost? Well, somebody'd have to die in the house, honey. Oh. What about the pool boy? <laughs> uh, well, uh, if you're ever in the States, son, we sure would like you to come over and haunt us. <laughs> oh, I'd be delighted. <laughs> well, cheery bye. <laughs> Tell Dave I'll call during the week. This is going to be massive. It's going to be like Jurassic Park, except with ghosts instead of dinosaurs, and in a house rather than a remote island, and without the disappointing sequels, but you know what I mean. It's brilliant. <sighs> Hello? Anyone alive round here? Are you... are you going to hurt us? Cover us in slime. Eat our brains? I think I'd go hungry round here if I did that. Who are you? I am Sir Lancelot de Brush, the first Earl of Brush. Wow. And I believe one of my descendants lives here. Oh, Basil. Actually, where is he? I'm sure we have a lot in common. The Brush family has always been adventurous, dashing, brave. <laughs> Gone. Hello, Basil. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for being such a Scrooge. Tiny Tim can have the biggest turkey in the shop. <laughs> Just don't show me Christmas past. I can't bear another pair of socks. Basil, is he right? This is Sir Lancelot de Brush. What? My great 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 great
they stop? I think we get the picture. Well, as one trouser leg said to the other as it was being adjusted, that's a turn up. <laughs> <laughs> My own ancestor knocking about in the kitchen. Actual ghosts, amazing. You must have some incredible stories. Yes, I've had an interesting life and death. <laughs> I'm currently planning an autobiography. It'll be ghost written, of course. Ghost written. Get it? Help, oh, help, oh, help. oh! Boom, boom! <laughs> I can see where Basil gets it from. Ah, yes, my good looks, my charm, my earldom. Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Is there a problem? Yes, well, you see, I've come to tell you some bad news. About the earldom? Yes, I'm afraid I lost it. When I called myself the first Earl of Brush, I should really have said the first and last. You see, I bet it on a jousting match. I was sure Warwick Castle United were going to win, and lo and behold, Red Star Plantagenet stole it in sudden death. So you see, the brushes haven't actually had an earldom since then. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> He's cut off my nobility. I've been disinherited. <sighs> well, you were never actually inherited. Ah, well, the gravy train of destiny has been well and truly shunted into the roast beef sidings of fate, leaving us once again to feast on the stale Yorkshire pudding of misfortune. <laughs> What are you talking about, you loon? I don't know. I'll just learn it. <laughs> well, it's made me peckish anyway. <laughs> Fancy staying for dinner, Sir Ill? Uh, afraid not. Being a ghost, fool just goes straight through me. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I've got to get back to the world of the living dead. Oh, right, yes, the netherworld. No! I've got a cabaret booking on a cruise ship. <laughs> I say, Sir Lancelot was a nice chap, wasn't he? <laughs> For someone who was dead, he was very full of life. <laughs> Must be the famous brush sense of humour. What does it? <laughs> yeah. Most of your jokes have died, but they seem to live on. Why, you're just jealous. You didn't get to be nobility for a day, like me. I say, Mr. Stephen, did you hear something? <laughs> Mr. Stephen, you don't think it's another ghost, do you? Well, go and check. No, I can't. I'm both scared. And lazy. <laughs> you check. All right. Oh, Mr. Stephen. Yes. If it's a terrifying ghoul, what eats your brain? Yes. I'll miss you. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I see, Mr. Stephen. Mr. Stephen. Yes. Can I have your CD collection? <laughs> no. Oh, Mr. Stephen. Yes. Have I ever told you how much you mean to me? No, never. Oh, goody. Just checking. <laughs> Please. We're out. That's the trouble with this place. It's a tourist trap. 